Hello and welcome to our modern Latin American history class. This is the introduction for Unit 1. In Unit 1, we're going to be covering um, just the getting to know you kinds of things, and we're also going to be thinking about what it means to study history. We're going to look at a couple of different articles that define Latin America as a region and think about why we group this, uh, this collection of nations together as a cohesive region, how cohesive is that region, and what kinds of diversity exist across the region of Latin America. Something I want to underscore as we begin is that there is immense diversity in Latin America in terms of historical patterns, um, also in terms of local cultures and the way that uh, colonialism has kind of taken shape since the European encounter in 1492. Of course, we're starting our class not in 1492 or not pre-1492, but about 1810. 1810 is a watershed year for the region of Latin America because that's when um, most of the independence movements began. So we're going to think about how Latin American nations gained their independence from typically either Spain or Portugal, although there are some other exceptions. There were uh, French and Dutch colonies as well as English colonies in Latin America. We're going to think about what that meant for the indigenous peoples of uh, these Latin American nations and how their unique traditions and cultures um, kind of shaped the way that nation building took place across the region. Um, you know, so again, in terms of ethnicity, in terms of culture, in terms of language, Latin America is far more diverse than that one term would suggest. It's really hard to talk about Latin America, <coughs> excuse me, because there is so much difference across the region. That said, we're going to try to do it anyway. Um, and so we have to think about why scholars have grouped this um, uh, collection of nations together. What are the similarities? What are the things that they have in common? What are the, the, the common themes that each has experienced historically? And what insights can we gain by thinking about the region as a whole rather than in its individual parts? Um, so hopefully that will help understand where the first chapter in the Chastine book is coming from, as well as the article by Michel Gobat that we're going to read about um, the invention of Latin America. Um, so that was a bit about the kind of content that we'll be covering. We're going to focus on the notion of historical thinking in Unit 1. So those are the habits of mind, the skills and methods that historians use to understand the past and to learn about it. So we're going to think about the kinds of sources that historians use, what types of sources are available to us to understand the past, essentially how we know what we know about the past. If you're worried because you think that history is a list of facts and names and dates that you need to memorize and remember, you don't need to worry about that because that's not what history is at all. History is more like a puzzle. It's more like doing investigative work um, and trying to ask um, focused questions about the past and understanding how the questions that we ask will shape the kinds of answers that we get and the kinds of stories that we tell. Um, so. I'm less concerned with us memorizing things than with us thinking about those methods and how we know what we know about the past. And that's where we'll be with this class over the next eight weeks. Um, along with doing our introductions on the discussion board, we'll be answering questions about the study of history and historical thinking on Twitter. So this week we'll be getting to know Twitter. Um, you'll only have 10 tweets required rather than the usual 15. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, and then also you'll have a little bit of work to do on the discussion board with those two articles about defining Latin, American, uh, Latin America as a region uh, that I just mentioned. So uh, that's where we're, we're going this week. There's a lot to do, so please get started as soon as you can. And please don't hesitate to ask questions along the way. I hope that you enjoy Unit 1.